Hey SOW community, this is Zalan coming at you with another video. And I have uh, a video about a minus Morgul run through. That's what we're doing. I just recently had it reset. I beat it on normal, so of course every time you go through and beat all the nemeses of a particular um, fortress or a difficulty because of course normal is different from hard because I still haven't gone I'm almost through hard but you can take on all these guys so we're gonna go take them all one by one in this video I'm gonna just run through them all and I do this at least once every day um, because it does take 12 hours to reset so I'm doing it right now and in 12 hours from now it will reset so I can do it again um, a lot of the great benefit of doing um, this on a daily basis is you see right here there is a bunch of grog and also to the um, tokens for um, bringing back your um, dead orcs so um, that's a great benefit and that's why I make sure I do this every single day. Pulse also does give the opportunity for you to get some of your feeder um, orcs, which I've explained in my previous video. Feeder orcs are good for getting your dailies done. I'm just going to auto this because these guys are super easy. I'll just take the time too to say that I'm thoroughly enjoying the game. I'm leveling up my characters. And there he is, Ubaka Blacktooth. Remember me? Not really. And you're going down pretty quick. All right. Since he's just a regular champion or captain, um. And we can just show here the runes that you get when, for execution are all green. So they're still important right now because I haven't... Because as you level up your frag, rune fragments, um, your characters have better rune fragments and give them better skills. So you can jump back and forth between three different ones. Um, yeah, we're going to execute. going to be pretty brutal this video, I think collect up those fragments for my champions there we go we got a bunch of grog and the resurrection tokens that's what they're called all right time for guza of the beasts slap it on auto again because when they're not that difficult it really and I'm making a video I'd like to talk about some of the things going on with the game. So, um, but normally I I take control when battles are important. I take control of the spells because I'll tell you one thing: the AI does not drop your heal spells where you really want it to drop. There he is, Guza of the Beasts. Going to rip your limbs off. Let's see what happens. We're gonna take him down though pretty easily. Yep. And of course, execution. We are going to grab one of these captains, though, for feeder. I do like how you can take a look at these guys. Graphics are amazing. I, I am running this on the highest graphics level, so it is, looks pretty nice. There's a snagger. I'll take him on. Of course, I'm running through these pretty easily, of course, because now you can't, unlike all their farming par parts of the game, 
you can't just click raid battle and, and complete these. You actually have to run through the battles to do these, but I, like I said, I su highly suggest doing them every day just because you have the opportunity of collecting some valuable orcs when you get up higher. Oh, wow. He is fast, but he is also going to die very quickly for being fast. So for that, we shall execute him. Because <laughs> I have no mercy. Snagger, you're finished. Alright. Uh, Gorgu, the mountain. We're going to specifically keep you for feeder. Because I do plan on letting a bunch of feeder orcs just die. I'm not going to be resurrecting them. But occasionally I do have orcs that do pass away in quests. I'm going to try to get that to be a little bit more... I'm not going to let my really important orcs go out on quests. Uh, there's Gorgu, the mountain. Let's see what happens to you, buddy. You're gonna go down. Alright. We're gonna brand him, like I said. On his bald head. Cool. Now on to the war chiefs. It's dwarf killer. Yeah. And because of that, you can see he's actually not because he's a dwarf killer. Anybody with the dwarf skills has a negative there. Still, though, with our power of 6,000 over 34, it really doesn't matter. Although, I will bump out. Now that we're higher up on the list, go from my... Cause normally, I take my War Chiefs in, but I'm going to take my Warlords. They're a little more powerful. Got a couple rest in right now, though. My most powerful, my 13s, but I really got to get them more leveled up. I tell you, having a good amount of of orcs to work with is important. You can't just have one good orc or two good orcs or three good orcs. I'm planning on having about a dozen warlords eventually that are going to be all leveled. Reason is because when you send one up like into battle with you, and they help you, that's great. But after the battle's over, you now need another one to be able to help you in the next level. So, I don't know. I feel that having about a dozen or more of the warlords leveled up is going to be my goal. And then I'll probably have another dozen of the war chiefs. And then I'll have a bunch of feeders. Because there's 30, 30 orcs. The right now that I can have. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. That's my game plan. Sharing it with the community. Now I'm going to brand him. Because I like War Chiefs. I'm going to be doing a lot more studying too. Exactly on. Oh, see I got a lot better rewards there. That's better Grog. It's a good one. All right, here we go. Ready to go, Burr the Molten. Yeah, I think he's from the Mach. The I've been studying all the tribes too. He's got he has like bombs that he sets off explosives. So he's got like those grenades strapped across his chest. I'm interested to see his attacks. We're gonna brand him.
but yeah, have like a dozen good warlords and a dozen good war chiefs. That's my game plan. And then have like another six. Six feeders. Yeah, on the fire. I return to engulf you. Oh gosh, here we go. Time for your branding. He looks cool. All right, and for the final one. What's his name? Rudug, the Amputator. The Amputator. Looks pretty cool. Takes officially 50 energy to clear this whole place. So as long as you get 50 energy, you can clear all the nemeses in Minus Morgul. Hope you're enjoying this. This is just a, uh, what I consider, a, I guess, a kind of a gameplay walkthrough, but also showing off a daily, a daily thing that should be done on a regular basis. But I like creating content for this game. I do enjoy it thoroughly. Just to remind everybody, if you enjoy my content, please make sure to press a like. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. There he is, Rude Dog the Amputator. He says, please subscribe. <laughs> now we're busting out our, our work here. I'm going to put him right behind. Look at him. I put him right behind my target. He did some serious flank damage. We're going to brand him. Warlord is mine. One can really get about one warlord a day, so like I said, it's going to take me a little bit to get all the warlords. And there you see here in the top, region refreshes in, an, in 12 hours. And you can rush it, but why would I? You know, no reason to. I got other things to do. But here, like I, I'm just going to show my progress right here. And I'm going to end the video because this is pretty much all I was doing. I was just showing a little bit of gameplay so everybody can enjoy some and have something to watch while they play. And I am here in hard mode working on unlocking to get more areas to get short or to get that glyphs. And what? A oh, whole bunch of things to claim. And I just became level. 20. Nice. Alright, well, with that said, then this is where I'm in, in Udin, on normal. Got a little bit more to for that as well. So now I gotta, I guess I'll show my characters real quick. Make sure I always click from your stronghold. Make sure your stronghold is always, watch this, always level up. You always want to level it up and always make sure whenever you level up. And here's my current champions. The four I'm using, as you saw, Lady, Marwin, Shelob, Gorvin, and Bar Anor. And I am currently farming Castamir and Idro, and they're pretty co they're pretty common in the areas that I've been working in. So we'll see. Like I said earlier, if you liked the video, please hit like, and if you haven't subscribed already, please feel free to subscribe. I will be coming out with more gameplay 
Um, I will be doing a live stream here within the next few days of this game. So if you had any questions, you can talk to me directly in the live stream. Um, or just enjoy and watch. Um, besides from that, oh, I almost forgot. I saved the best for last for all the people that watched all the way to the end. We're going to do... We're going to do a planter pool. Spoils of War. Oh, I just got some experience guides. Well, I got a Torvin earlier. Like 30, 30 glyphs. It was <laughs> very unprecedented. So, sorry for all the dramaticness there. Maybe next time. All right. SOW community. I will talk to you guys all again soon. Have a good one.